Oh, standing room only. Go, Nathan Fillion. Uh, hey, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Having a good con? Oh, you guys are looking good. Some really good cosplay this year. I'm very proud of you guys. Uh, you guys enjoying your con thus far? Having a good time? Yeah. <laughs> you guys been enjoying Nerd HQ this weekend so far? Yeah. Yeah. It's been pretty fun, hasn't it? Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, what the hell am I possibly going to say other than please welcome to the stage this guy, Nathan Fillion. Tickles. So, it's my whiskers. Pokey. I tickle. Hey, can we can we get an extra? Oh yes. <laughs> nah. God bless you. Thank you. Um, hey, can we? I know you just gave him all kinds of applause and everything, but I just want to point out that. Literally from the very first year that we did Nerd HQ, you, my friend, have I think you've done two at least two panels every single year. And you are a man amongst men. You are such a mention. I love you so much and thank you for being here. Thank you. That is uh, super awesome, and I will take this credit that I so righteously do not deserve. Zach came to my house, and we were sitting in the backyard. Do you remember I had, I bought this. Oh, I vividly remember. <laughs> I bought this, this table uh, that has an umbrella, and the, from the ends of the umbrella hang hammock chairs, so everybody sits in a hammock chair and puts their feet on the table. And you can't sit on the same side of the table, because the whole thing will, <laughs> so you had to sit like on opposite sides. And Zach had this kooky idea of Nerd HQ. And I was like, yeah! What a great idea, Zach! Let's totally do this! It'll never work. <laughs> Good luck. This is a tremendous amount of work for you and your team. <laughs> Anybody here, were you here for the first Nerd HQ? <laughs> right. Okay. Being here now, I'm talking just to you guys. Everybody else, I'll include you in a moment. But just listen, just listen, okay. Everybody that was there first year, compared to this, wasn't it kind of like a hobo shanty town? <laughs> right? 
I'm, I'm going to be honest. At the time, we're going, woo, look what we're doing. Look, 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 we did all this. We did all this. No one can stop us. Oh, my God, hobo shantytown. I probably shouldn't have been carrying around that stick with the polka dot sheet. That out of and stuff. the was, cardboard box you were napping yeah, in. Was, was a bad call. Really. In retrospect. It made the metaphor. Anyway, well done. Well done, you guys. Thanks, well buddy. done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You make it happen. You make it happen. So thank you. Do you, do you, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot. Do you have any kind of running tally of how much you've managed to raise for Operation Smile? I, I, so far? I know we're past 200,000 this Holy. year. Holy. So, yeah. And it, you know, and that's and it's and it's everything. It's all the panels that you guys uh, participate in. It's all the smiles for smiles that you guys participate in, or the signings, or the meet and greets, or the auctions that uh, totally that true. You, by the way, started. We you did started. that second year. I think we started that. Yeah, you did, yeah. Oh, second, second. Is scooter guy here, by the way? Scooter? No, who who bought the scooter that that first time? Huh? Oh, he'll be here on Sunday. I <laughs> I ran into him. In, I ran into him in Phoenix. Uh, he, he was really cool. This guy played the villain. He had money to burn, apparently. And he was, uh, he was outbidding everybody, but people would join together to conglomerate their money to beat him. I, I ran into him in, in Phoenix. He's a super guy. He's a really sweet guy, really, really nice guy, and really believes in what you're doing, and it's really cool. Yeah. Let's get started so we can get started. Let's I do brought, it. Let's ask do me it. what I brought. Yeah, let's see. Would you like to see what Nathan brought? Yeah. Oh, wow. Just some stuff. You'll see it in time. Let's go. Do you want to do a question? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, who's, uh, who's got the first microphone in question? Right over there on your right-hand side wearing a brown coat. How fitting. <laughs> As you were. How's it going? <laughs> so, uh, so Firefly Online is coming out soon. That is true. Yes. I was hoping that, uh, to hear what you're most excited about for it, and also, will you be playing with us? <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to play it. I'm going to build a ship and stuff like that. And guess what? It's going to look exactly like my ship. <laughs> the only confusing part is when they don't let me be Malcolm Reynolds. Because in the game, you actually get to meet up with Malcolm Reynolds and the gang. And it's going to be really... You don't even know anything about this, do you? Alan actually talked about it on his panel. Never so mind, then. It's awesome and it's good. So you covered that. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely. I'll definitely be playing. And I'm super excited. Because no, because people... You guys, you dress, you dress up. Thank you for that. And... Uh, it lives. It continues to live. Imagine we get a little chance to kind of dip into it again. It's, it's just more access. It's just more fun, right? Thank God it's not dead. Guess what? People are naming their kids still, right? Malcolm Reynolds Smith. And people are gonna go, well, was that? Why do you got like a last name for a middle name? And yeah, my parents used to be all crazy about this show. I don't know. They're gonna watch it. Hooked. Anyway. Um, so I got some stuff. Here, this, okay. Um, fans send me stuff all the time. I don't have a ton of use for a teddy bear dressed up like Richard Castle, but I appreciate the gesture. Some stuff is freaking awesome and I keep it. Some stuff is really cool and I admire the talent. I keep it for a while, but I, don't, I can't, I really honestly can't use it. It's a little on the nose, but it's wonderful uh, stuff. For example, this is an awesome wallet. Check that out. Someone worked really hard on that. Someone worked really hard on that. I signed it on the inside and I filled it full of uh, Nerd HQ stickers. You paid for those, right? <laughs> I say this is worth $5. $25. Take over, Zach. Uh, holy crap. Uh, I love it. Uh, and Zach, under the bus. Uh, 60? Two hundred dollars? Anybody want to go two hundred dollars? Sold two hundred dollars. And because it's a wallet, I'm going to throw in a one million, probably fake dollar bill. And Zach's going to sign it. All right. Next question. Who's got a microphone in the question? That was well done, $200. Hey, hi. Hi, how are you? I, no, I'm good, you? Good. Uh, first of all, Zach, right on. This is so much better than the con. Absolutely love Nerd HQ rocks. Th okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so my question to you is, um, entertainment bloggers always talk about the moonlighting curse 
and especially when it comes to Castle. So now we've been a couple years down the road with you guys together. Is this something you talk about or that you're worried about? I was the guy who said, hey man, if they get together, you know, people will click change channels, right? I've never been accused of being terribly smart. <laughs> and I'm totally okay with that. So color me wrong, they're together, everybody's still watching, things are going really well. Um, I am uh, merely uh, an actor on the show, but I'm gonna take credit <laughs> for the amazing writing, the production value, right down to the props, it's probably me. <laughs> fair, fair? Just for today. I hope no one from I work with actually hears about this or watches on the internet. Probably chances are slim. I got a, I got something pretty cool. I'm a gadget guy. I like gadget stuff. I roam Kickstarter for technologies and stuff like this. And I found this company called Pebble. It's a watch. It connects to your phone. You get a text. You go, I don't need to take this. <laughs> That's what I do. They, um, they gave me a bunch of watches and, uh, I, I, I have an engraver pen, so I signed the front of them. But down on the bottom, so you can still tell time and stuff and read your text. You'd be like, Nathan. I think that's worth five bucks. Sixty dollars. Seventy. One hundred. One fifty. One fifty, damn it. One fifty. One seventy-five. 200. <laughs> 200. It's a white band with a, with a gray face. What's that? 220? 220. Two, well, let's go at least in $20 increments, shall we? Uh, 220. <laughs> 240. That's better. That's better. Two, how about 260? 260? 280? Anybody 300? Anybody 300? 280. There you go. There you 280. Go. Nice job. Right nice job, you guys. Thank you very much. Who's got a question? Over here. So, how are you? I'm very well. How I like your shirt. Thank you. Nerd. And I'm also Canadian as well. Where are you from? Uh, Thunder Bay, Ontario. Me too, except Edmonton. I know. <laughs> I had a first or a request. If from both you and Zach, if you could both either together or right after each other say hi to my sister back home. What's your sister's name? Robin. Hi, Robin. Back hi, Robin. home. We miss you. <laughs> Though we've never really met. <laughs> Me, just a little bit more than Zach. Zach? <laughs> Nathan is a liar. <laughs> and I miss you more. <laughs> hi, Robin. Well done. Okay, quick question. Uh, what was your thoughts when you first read the script for the finale for this past season? Your first thoughts on it? <gasps> A fire? <laughs> what about my face? <laughs> my beautiful, beautiful face. <laughs> Wait a minute. Name of the show, Castle. I think I'm safe. <laughs> Speaking of Castle, I have here, um, uh, once uh, Castle was hospitalized, Castle, Richard Edgar. This was his uh, me uh, medical wristband thing that they put on you so they don't accidentally remove your spleen when you came in for a haircut. Um, <laughs> turns out, uh, Richard Castle, a little older than me, which completely explains why I'd have a daughter as old as Molly. <laughs> and my birthday's on here, room 176, if you wanted to send flowers. I signed it. I think that's worth five bucks. Oh, and it's not ripped anyway. You, you can unclip this and actually wear it. it, it you can actually put that on because I didn't cut it. 20 bucks. 100. 120. Now, what are we talking about $10 increments? What are we talking about that? Oh, do I just say? I'm, uh, I'm going to go with 120 unless I hear 140. 140. <laughs> oh, you're so disappointed. <laughs> it's a medical bracelet. Uh, <laughs> this wearable. Uh, 140, 140 going once, 140 going twice. Sold for 140. Right? Nicely done.
Who's got a question? Who's our next question? We're going to move it along. Move along. There you are. Hi, Nathan. Um, Hi. What's your name? So, Diane. Hi, Diane. So, I'm a huge fan of Waitress and Drive. I know. <laughs> Which were two, two things. My, my six-year-old mother loved Waitress, too. By the way, so. Drive? You caught that one? Yeah. Thanks. I, I had the promo licenses and everything, and then I lost them in my room somewhere. But anyway. We were on for a week and a day, just so you know. <laughs> a week and a day, everybody. Uh, so my question is, um, back when you did Halo ODST, which I loved, it's my favorite video game ever, what was it like to get that call from Bungie asking to, like, license your face and your likeness and have you play Buck and everything? Like, what was your reaction? Because I know you're a huge Halo nerd. Uh, uh, playing a video game super cool. They gave me a couple lines in Halo 2. They got me into ODST full on. It was a lot of fun. Um, th I think the best part about being in the video game, your voice, your likeness, your stuff... You're playing it with your friends, and you'll hear your voice on the video game warning everybody, we got more coming in from the north! And then I would personalize it to my friends and go, Steve? <laughs> the backfire is, Alan was one of the voices as well, and he's one of the guys I play with. So I'd be like, no, but seriously, Alan, was that you just now, or was that you just now? <laughs> Good question. Um, I have, oh, here's another example of something that somebody gives me, and I think, oh, this is super cool. I'll hang on to this for, like, ages. And then I just go, okay, I'm really collecting a lot of junk here, because it's, again, it's just a little on the nose. It's a little piece of wood that says Captain. I oh. know, <laughs> right? I sign the bottom. I say it's worth five bucks. It also has uh, a little thing on the back. You can hang it on the wall. I love that somebody actually started with, yeah, I'll do that for five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you're honest. I appreciate it. Uh, it's wood. <laughs> uh, I, I know I heard more than that. What's up there? Th okay. 100. 100. 120. 140. 150. <laughs> How many times do I got to talk about these $10 increments, people? Uh, I, fine, 100. 160. That's, see, that's better. It's in 20s, right? Uh, 160, in the back? 100. 100. <laughs> You're going to do that. I can't. Give, me, give, me, give me 200. Give me 200. Give me 200. I'm gonna sell it to you just for that honesty right there. Two hundred dollars of somebody else's money. Give the, give whoever's that money a round of applause. That's fantastic. <laughs> who's the uh, next question? What do we got? Who's the who's the who? Ne stand up. Hi. Hello, hey. Harley Quinn. Okay? Harley. Hey. So I had two questions, two parts. Okay. One question is: I'm an avid watcher <laughs> of Castle. And I've noticed that a lot of references from your previous roles have been on the show. Right. I wanted to know if that was you or the writers or both. If it's full on scripted in, I don't improvise in the middle of a scene and just kind of change a story and say, I'll just throw in some stuff about, I don't do that. They are wonderful in nudging and winking to the fact that we're a TV show, sort of kind of breaking that fourth wall. I, I consider it to be like a, an inside joke. If you're watching, you go, ah, Firefly reference. I caught it. <laughs> uh, they had a line one time. They said, oh, I got my first idea from watching. We did, did a soap opera, uh, Castle. They, I said, oh, yeah, I got my first book idea from watching uh, uh, Days of Our Lives. And I said, uh, not for nothing, but I was on One Life to Live. Could I say that? Davis Z. Yeah. So, yeah, they said, yeah, we'll tell. Go for it. So that was my big contribution. Uh, when I'm wearing the blue gloves and I do the tutu, <laughs> as I'm... Um, eh. And when I dressed up as Captain Malcolm Reynolds, of course, that's scripted. But on the shelf behind me sits the uh, catalyzer from Out of Gas. Oh. I put it there. Uh, second part to the question is, if you were in Hogwarts, what house would you be? I would totally love to be Gryffindor. Awesome, right? Totally. <laughs> Truth is, I did one of those little tests. <laughs> I'm Slytherin. <laughs> Evil. You're so evil. What ifs? All right. I got another one of those uh, watches. This one is, I believe, black. 
or... No, it's white. It's a white one. By the way, I threw in with that last one. I, in, in, all, in all of these, I put my, my business card. I signed the back, and on the front it says, uh, this is to certify you just met Nathan Fillion. How did you do? And then there's like a checklist of different things, you know, ranging from starting with, great, he was impressed, and now calls you friend. All the way down to, there are charges pending. I think that's worth $5. In, in $20 increments. 80, 100, 120, 200, 200 at top, 260. Two <laughs> Are you friends competing against each other? 260, 280, 300, 320. <laughs> I don't think about that for a second, did you? What comes after the 320? Once, twice, three times a lady. Sold. Sold to the lady in the... Yes. Big round of applause. 320. 320. And I believe our next question is right here. You know what? Hang on. I want to auction off one more item because I got oh, so many. Yeah. And I, I don't want to lose time. This one uh, rocks. Would you, uh, would you help me with this? Yes. Oh. There's this really talented artist who, who did these for, uh, I, I believe, for uh, Universal. And uh, he signed it to me. His name's John. I signed it because I love it. I really do. I was going to frame these up, but I already have the blueprints to Serenity, the original blueprints. But um, I think that's worth $20. $100? $200? 200 oh, Some really wealthy people at Comic-Con. $1,000, and I'll poop it to you. I don't, my head is so out of whack right now. Uh, you said 200, right? Did, can anybody be 200? Once, twice, sold. 200 dollars. Nicely done. Applause. Nicely done. All right. Now, oh, I, uh, <laughs> I love your outfit. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Um, so I'd love to see you do some more Doctor Horrible at some point. Okay. They can bring it back. Um, but then my question for you is, what's on your bucket list? What are the things, couple top three things on your bucket list? I have a list in my pocket of uh, things I want to do on TV. I, uh, I had a list of everything I wanted to do. And uh, this is not so much specifically television shows, but things I want to actually do on film. And uh, after I did the first episode of Firefly, I did everything on my list in one episode of Firefly. <laughs> Had to come up with a new list. Here it is. Land a plane. Yes. Play my own double. <laughs> Crack a safe. I think I did that one. I did it on Castle. <laughs> Crossed off. Hit a detonator button. Use that one of those dynamite plungers. Like <laughs> Uh, light dynamite from a cigarette and or cigar. Drop a match in gas. Walk away from an explosion. <laughs> Diffuse a bomb. I did that too. <laughs> got it. I got to get some new stuff on my list. Fair? Good? Fair enough. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Okay. I have um, those cards I was telling you about. I got like a little stack of them right here. So if you were to buy this stack of cards, you could say to your friends, hey, you want to make Nathan Fillion? Next best thing. We could, do, we could do the whole stack, or we could do 20 boxes, 20 boxes of cards. We could do that. Want, want to do that? OK, why don't we? <laughs> Tell you what. So they're going to arrange this stuff in the palm court? Yes, we so, can. Yes, that's what I, your sister told me. Then yes, that's what's happening. So if you, if you bid on an item, the palm court right afterwards, we'll, we'll settle it up. We believe in the honor system here, uh, so we know it's you. Uh, so would you want to do those 20, yeah. 20 bucks a piece in the... In the um... I, there's, there's, I, see, I, sure, that makes total sense. <laughs> we'll, we'll, arrange that, we'll arrange that in the palm court. So just you know, go out yeah, there and, you, and just grab them in the palm yeah, court. Can, That'll be good. If you guys line up in the palm court, we'll have a volunteer to have a stack of these. Meantime, I have a little luggage tag. That says serenity. On the back it says I aim to misbehave. 
I signed it. I should have put travel safe because I think I imagine this on a, on a on a piece of luggage. But truly, you're gonna frame it, right? <laughs> Five bucks. Huh? <laughs> hundred. Hundred. Well, who said 120? 120? 140? 140? 200? 220? Whoa, 300. And some of us aren't, apparently. I mean, that's really... 300, once... I'm gonna write Travel Safe on there for 300. Twice. $300 sold. Give them a round of applause. Nice catch. Who has the next question? No questions. Perfect, we're done. Oh, right, right stand up. Oh, oh. She actually has a microphone. She has a mic. It's okay. Yeah, well, here we go. We'll, we'll get to you too. It's okay. Hey, Angel. I like your shirt. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, Katan. Um, sorry for my English. Uh, who is a uh, uh, director? Oops. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> are, you, are you looking for a translator app? Yeah. No. God bless you. That's who is a director? Who that is a director that inspired uh, me most? No. 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 That you would like to work with uh, that you never worked with before. Oh, okay, good question. Joss, we, no. <laughs> James, G no. Steven Spit, no. Uh, who's Stanley Kubrick? There's a good one. Yeah, that's gonna happen. And who? It's fair. <laughs> um, who, who's, uh, who, who, who directs all the um, Moonrise Kingdom, Rushmore, and uh, that guy? <laughs> I want to be in those movies, like you're in a play, uh, like you're on a stage play in high school is what uh, does have that feel to them. I love it. The miniatures. Oh, God, I love those. They make me feel good. And cry. Good question. All right. I have uh, another watch. I, I think it's red. It's probably white. And I'm gonna throw in, <laughs> I'm gonna throw in this Serenity comic book that I signed and immediately put it back into the plastic bag, smearing the signature. <laughs> so I wrote, oops, and then put a little arrow towards the mistake and then signed it again. Oops. And you'll be like, you'll be at home going, that's so Nathan. 20 bucks? 100? 100? 180? And the watch that I signed with a card inside. 260. 300. 360? Did you say 360? 360? How much? Oh, she said 360. 38400 Who can give me 5000? 400 What's that? 440 460 <laughs> you Got cheerleaders behind you? Yeah man, get it, get it, get it. What's that 480? 500 Firstborn child Probably work something out. I, five, did I get a 500 back there? 500, 520. I, 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 tell you what, how about how about this? There was a 500 bid back there. Yeah. I'll release this little uh, Captain Mal signature one and another signed watch, so we have two. So pe for, people do both for two 500s. How about that? You want to do that? How about for 500 you get that, and for 500 you get this? Does that sound good? Is that good? Yeah. Like it. Sign that, right. sign that. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, well you, done, thank you, you thank you, thank you, thank you. Well done. 
so that you know, I'm desperately trying to beat how much money Alan Tudyk raised. So, 26 minutes of counting, guys. Oh, and we're gonna do some photos outside, yes? Uh, are you doing Smiles for Smiles? Yeah, I'm gonna go do some photos. Uh, smiles. Oh. And that's, is that, that's donation-based? All donation-based, yeah. You guys know what Smiles for Smiles is, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so if you're concerned about the $500 bids, Come on in, like throw in a couple bucks. That'd be so great. We're just gonna take a quick picture and move you out. And I promise not to pinch <laughs> too hard. <laughs> Next question, who's got it? Over here. Hi. Um, if you could pick one thing and one thing only that is you've enjoyed the most about your chosen career, what would that be? Uh, and also, in Alan Tudyk's panel, he uh, mentioned how you shut down Justin Bieber, if you could speak on that a little bit. <laughs> um, uh, what was the first part of the question? Oh yeah, okay. Uh, you guys, uh, wow, what an adventure uh, it's been. What an adventure. I get to uh, travel the world. I get to meet incredible people people whose journeys are strange and wild and wonderful, and then we all meet in the same spot. And everybody's incredibly interesting and from someplace else and somewhere else, and everybody has a story. And we're all in this kind of adventure, kind of a secret club together at the same time. I get to share it with my, 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 my brother, Jeff, up in the corner there. I get to share it all with him. We hang out so much. Um, so for me, whatever's, you know, behind the TV, behind the movie that you're watching, there's, there's a, the career is the key that opens that door and you get to get all the stuff that goes inside. I'm going to say, we're seeing a lot of the glamoury kind of fun parts. It's not all glamour. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of, you know, inside a windowless building, but like things like Nerd H, it's, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> It's just for three days, I get to be a rock star. Thanks to you guys, Parker, I love you so much. You guys are awesome, by the way. Thank you. So, that's when you clap. Right. No, seriously, seriously, you guys, you deserve that. Um, so that's a lot of fun. What was the other question was, oh, the thing. Okay, so here's the deal, here's the deal. It's really not a juicy, juicy story. We were playing some, uh, there was like a VIP room and where they had the game set up. And we're all just playing and everybody would play a match and then get up and someone else would sit down and play a match. And it wasn't Justin Bieber in any way. It was some representative of his came over and she was a little snarky. She was a little, you gotta move. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> you can wait, come on. It's like five more minutes, the game will be done. And that's all it really was. I might have said, that's not gonna happen. but not like maliciously, it was in good humor. It was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh, keep it friendly, but that's all it was. It's, I think Alan tells it better. He tells it way better, yeah. yeah he tells it way better. <laughs> Makes you look way cooler. I look like a cowboy oh. with a smoking gun. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's, let's go with Alan's version. That'd be good. <laughs> Next item. I have, oh, uh, yeah. Okay, you ready? Um, it's another watch. This is the granddaddy. Okay, these are the beautiful ones. They're metal, they're a little wider. It's a uh, metal clasp, it's really quite pretty. I uh, start, I have an engraving pen. I started by signing the back of this, but then I, I realized I could sign the front too, so I just did it really small on the bottom. Uh, so it's signed twice. <laughs> In addition, no, I'm gonna save that for next. All right, that's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, put, one, I'm gonna put one of these in. Um, I, I made up these little magnets. You might have heard of them. It's quite possible you are a fine human being, but you park like an asshole. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in two of these. One, one, one for you, I signed it. You keep that. And uh, one to use. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, it feels really good. You, uh, that, that helpless feeling of, oh, that guy, goes away. <laughs> Walk away like, I did something good today. Did something right. 
I think that's worth six bucks. <laughs> Two hundred. Do you say six hundred? <laughs> Sold. I think that's. Thank you very much. We got another question. We got twenty minutes. Oh my god, lots of time. That's great. Over here. Over here. Hello. Hi. 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 Uh, Nathan, Zach, uh, my name is Quinn. This is my little wife, Van. We're just huge fans of yours. Uh, nice very, to meet you guys. I love nice the introduction. That was really classy. I'm just, really nice. uh, nice we're just very starstruck right now. Thank you. Uh, my question is, I mean, in Serenity, you are, or Firefly, you play, you know, the, you know, very firm captain, you know, to a very, uh, you know, airheaded and former mercenary, you know, Adam Baldwin. So in that, well, he's a good guy. I love that guy. <laughs> I mean, I met him a couple times. And um, in the episode in Castle where he gets to play the detective and he gets to kind of like, you know, give you a hard time. I mean, yeah. that's got to be hilarious. I yeah. Mean, it, it's got to be payback for him. I oh, mean, yeah. How was that? Yeah. You know? It's a nice little role reversal where he's yeah. the guy in charge. He's the guy who's really threatening and um, Castle cannot handle himself. Um, th there's a great scene where he's thinks that Adam Baldwin's character has killed somebody and he's watching him through a window thinking, oh my God, he's and, and, and uh, Esposito comes up behind Castle, scares the crap out of him. And he goes, oh God, I, I didn't know that you were, and then he says, no, no, seriously, this guy, and he turns back and he's right there behind the glass. He goes, oh Jesus! He just, he's since uh, Castle's in such, just, he's just shake it. Adam loves it. Adam, Adam works so hard and he's so darn good at anything he does. He can, he can, <laughs> I love how he plays stupid. Uh. I love how he plays stupid, like he's the smartest guy in the room. Um, yeah, wonderful fun. Gosh, it's just really great to just work with people you just uh, respect, admire, and adore. And that's definitely Adam Baldwin. Uh, next item, I have another um, poster here. I'll be your Vanna. Thanks, buddy. Oh, it's an E. It's a cutaway of Serenity. It's gorgeous. I only, this is the one I signed. It's, you know, it's so pretty. That's where I lived. <laughs> right there, that's where I lived. 20 bucks? I want to know how it's gonna work. 240? Anybody want to be 240? 260. <laughs> you just billow from the back. 260? Yeah. 260? <laughs> 260? <laughs> she, you're not budget. You're not budget. 280. 280. She says, she, I got 280 right here. 300. Sold. 300 dollars. Thank you very much, sir. Nicely done. Very nice. I see a bunch of you have fans. I brought my own. I wrote that on there. It's a custom job. I'll sell that on Sunday. All right. Yeah, right. You guys got nothing. Uh, next question is, where is uh, Zach? Right in front. Where was, oh, right here. Hi, lovely girl. Hi. How you doing? I'm about to break the cardinal rule of not actually asking a question. Okay. But three years ago, the whole panel came together and donated $440 you were the young to make lady. sure I got your shirt. Yeah. Someone over here said they were poor and couldn't afford... <laughs> something and I have four hundred and forty dollars now that I'm employed to donate so someone else can have something from your bag. That is one of the most incredible gestures I've ever seen. That's so awesome. That's so awesome. <laughs> and please to God don't make it crystal light. <laughs> the question is, do you have anything left in the bag? How about another little stack of those magnets I was just talking about? <laughs> I, think about I think there's about 12 of them here. I'm trying to think if there's something. Is there something I, have, there? I have another. Um... <laughs> Take me for a cruise? Well, fine. That's what I heard. I have a photo here I, we did for uh, charity. It's uh, Leanna Vamp. In, in me as Darth Vader. She's, as, uh, she's Chewbacca and Han Solo. <laughs> awesome. 
include that with the magnets? Yeah, that with the magnets, we both sign it. Is that, does, that, does that seem worth it for you? Does that seem worth it for this girl back here who's poor? It's for your husband. Well, I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, is anybody else poor? <laughs> no, 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 no. That is an incredible gesture and thank you so much and I will gladly take that money from you. And you'll have something for your husband. They're all signing. Give me that. Give me that. Give it to you. Thank you. Uh, I uh, I love that pay it forward mentality. That's really really beautiful. Zach, don't cry. <laughs> I'm saying, I say that so I don't really cry a little bit. That's good. But by the way, that was, that, that, in fact, you even referenced it in the beginning of this panel. Yeah, I talked about, about that, that exactly. That was one of the coolest things that I had ever seen. It was just, you know, by the way, and it embodies exactly what the spirit of, of Comic Con and HQ and everything is. Like, you guys are F bomb and awesome. That's what you, <laughs> I'm trying to cut down on the fucks. Um, <laughs> oh, my dad is so disappointed right now. Um, uh, it, but but genuinely, you guys feel that, right? You feel that. You feel that when you're sitting in these panels and we're having these interactions together. I mean, you feel that love. Like, that is so awesome. What's your name, by the way? Hey. Whitney. Whitney, I love you. God bless you. You're awesome. Everybody say thanks, Whitney. So, All right. Oh, so we got nothing left to nothing left. I got a couple more of those posters. Oh, you do? Okay. So those I got are two be worth four hundred and forty dollars a piece. <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? <laughs> uh, you want to start it at like? Oh, you, let's do a question. We'll do. Oh, yes, huh? You, you want to buy? A, oh, you want to buy one for? Well, this is. Let's literally have like paying it forward in the moment. This is fantastic. I, you, you, if you. You can don't, you know what? Why don't you do this? Why don't you pay for a few people's smiles at the Smile for Smile? Perfect idea. Perfect why idea. Perfect. All right. Nice. Do you want to do another question before you do another? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got 13 minutes. We're right there. Uh, first of all, what's your name? Chloe. Chloe? Yeah. Who are you dressed as today? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love your outfit. Somehow it looks better on you than on me. Um, as teachers, my parents always come home with funny stories about the students. And I was wondering if you have uh, the same experience from where you were a teacher. Yes, I, uh, I never actually got my teaching certificate, but I had to do student teaching. You, you guys ever had a student teacher when you were in school? Okay, that was me. Um, at the time, I was doing a play and I, had, I was a gypsy, and I had to dye my hair black. And it got so black, it looked blue. In, in the light, when the light hit it, it was like a blue sheen through it. It literally looked like Superman from the co comic book. And all the kids were like, oh my god, you look like Superman now. And uh, one time we were doing a test, and they had to just be quiet. And um, some guys were talking, and I was like, hey guys, calm down. And then you say, guys, come on, seriously. And then the third time I did what they call proximity, where you get up, and you just walk up and down the aisle of the class and everybody shuts up does their thing because you're close and i went to the back of the class and there was this chair there and it was it was broken at the back it was the little kink in the little metal that those metal the plastic chairs the metal underneath and the metal was kinked in the back and i said that, that, that chair looks broken and i picked it up and i said i wonder how Kink. and the whole back end of the chair broke off and the class went oh Thought I was so angry because they're admitting that I broke a chair. And um, my, my cooperating teacher was Mr. Janusz. And they, and they said, I'm telling Mr. Janusz. I said, go ahead. And then um, he said, he heard the story and he goes, show, show, me, uh, show me how you did that. So these are, these are the last two bits I have. They're, the, they're two different uh, posters that 
Leanna Vamp and I did with the Darth Vader and the Star Trek, Star Wars. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. Come on, guys. We're all on the same team here. <laughs> right? All right. That was close. Oh, my God. I'm going to start to riot. 100 bucks? Should we do, should we do them in, in, the, in the pair, or do you want to do one at a time? I mean, I don't know. What do you guys want to do? One, <laughs> one, one at a time. time. One at a time, so more people get a chance. Yeah, yeah, okay. So $100 for one? Any more? Any, any more? 120 Your sister? <laughs> that is just bizarre and wrong. Hang on. Does she have a marketable trade? <laughs> 200? 200? 220? 240? <laughs> the eye roll on this one right now was just... <laughs> 240, 240, sold. That's one operation smile right there. That's one operation. I'll give you both. All right, one, one, we got time for a question, or maybe even two. Hello. Hi, Nathan. Hi. I have a Serenity graphic novel that has been signed by Adam, Alan, and Jewel. If I donate $60, could you please sign it for me as well? The answer is yes. Thank you. Just bring it to the Smiles for Smiles and he'll get that done there, okay? Fantastic. Did you bring a pen? I got one. Everybody signs in black. I sign in this like bright blue pen. <laughs> it drives the other guys crazy. <laughs> really pops. Um, another question? Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Melissa and- Hi, Melissa. My parents and my whole family are really big fans of you forever. And um, I just wanted to ask that if you could do any role anytime, not just now, but just in the past ever, what would you have picked or picked now? I think I could have done a really good job with Chuck. I mean, yeah. Granted, it'd be a little different kind of show. Chuck, you're so awkward, yet manly. <laughs> That's weird. That's what I got all the time. I'm so... Uh, what, uh, what, role, what role would I ever, uh, what did I say? Oh, uh, yeah, I, uh, Rockford Files, I thought, could do, like, a real thing. I would really enjoy that. You, you, and, uh, a Greatest American Hero? Sorry? Greatest American Hero? A Greatest American Hero, I thought, could, is due for a reboot. Um, uh, anything? Or, or we could just make our own new show. Or you could be the new Han Solo. I think that's the thing about Han Solo is there's only just the one. Oh. Kind of like Highlander. <laughs> there can be only one. <laughs> Nova, that's a. This is just because suddenly that... become give Nathan his next job a panel. <laughs> that's, that's what that is. Yeah. Uh, do you want to auction that last one? Sure, on? the last one. Here we go. Yeah. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. That's not an innuendo in any way. <laughs> That's like that old reference to the sleepover seance trick, right? Okay, let's go. Anybody want this one? A hundred, starting over there at a hundred. What, what was that? hundred, that was the only time I didn't hear you was that time, it's amazing. 140, 160? 180, 200? Five hundred dollars? What's that? It's for your dad? <laughs> I think he already knows, huh? I'm sorry. Okay. Once, twice sold for five hundred dollars. Absolutely. Thank you so much. We have time for uh, more stories, I think. More questions, rather. And then I'll most likely tell a story. Sir. Hi. Um, I have a top 10 list of, of people that I'd like to invite to dinner just for the conversation's sake. Right. And you're number four on that list? Right. <laughs> that's like, that's I, like living or dead, right? 
Sure. T great. <laughs> Listen, guys. Top four. That's everybody ever. Well, I, I, we got to know who the top three are now. You can't just... Do we? Well... <laughs> I'll tell you who's on top of the list. Danger, danger, Zach. Maybe you didn't make the list. I'm okay with that. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you who the top person is on, on that list, and that's my wife, because I can't invite Nathan Fillion to dinner and not invite my wife. Right. Right. Smart man. Right. But I was just wondering, since you're number four, who would be the, the top four people on your list? Here's my concern. You know, they say, who would you invite to dinner, living or dead? If you invite someone dead, I mean, I imagine they're living for, for the meal, but are they going like, oh, this is my last, I'm gonna be dead again right after the, do they go back to being dead or do they, are they, are they back? Will they ever die? A lot of responsibilities here. Have you created a, a race of immortals? Well, you, you, you know, you don't have to cook vegetarian for them. Yeah, because there's no such thing as vegetarians in history. What? Why are we, yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Well, I don't really, I'm terrible with vegetables. I'm good with meat. I add heat, and then it's done. Um, I don't know. I would, I would like to, uh, uh, I would like to, uh, you know, you want to talk to some historical figures there, some people who did some cool things. I always think Leonardo da Vinci would be a cool guy because he had some great ideas. Uh, you think about, you know, family members who have passed on, who I've heard some like, crazy stories about, and they're like, you never told me about that. Well, give me the details. Like, I would like to know stuff about the, the past of my family and stuff like that. And I'd like to know, like, like ancestors that I never met. I'm like, tell me, why did you guys immigrate to Canada? What was the story and what was it like? That kind of stuff. Because I'm French. That's about it. That's all I got. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Enough. Good enough. Sir. Over yeah. where? where? Right. Who's right. got right. Hi, Nathan. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Adele from Ireland, and I also have a bucket list on my phone, and you are... To Wait a minute. Too. Wait a minute. Yeah. Is that an Irish accent I'm it, sensing? Yeah. I, I, I uh, thought so. <laughs> Um, you were on, or you are on the top to meet you on my bucket list, so. Thank you, thank you. Dream come oh, look at that, we just did it. I know, yeah, it's brilliant. Scratch it up. <laughs> I will in a minute. Okay, so, <laughs> um, I just happened to be on the set at Castle last Monday. Oh. Also on my bucket list. And, um, got... Wait, Monday, where were we? You were out in Silver, out in the desert. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was I great, right. I got heat stroke. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> you passed tough, in you the guys. car and gave a wave and I was... Yeah, yeah. So um, my question is, um, there was a lot of people out there that day and I, it seemed to be an open set and people were just wondering, and like the, ca the crew were amazing. They're brilliant, giving us water and everything. Um, so my question is, do you know, they took photographs, they tend to spoil things and... Oh, sorry, that was a spoiler alert. Nathan was filming on Monday. Um, so so uh, I just wanted you to kind of talk about how you feel about spoilers and the Guardians of the Galaxy and stuff that went online. That you know, How do you feel about that? I think there are people who are uh, totally into spoilers. They, they totally are. I think there are some responsibilities that are inherent in uh, that being your flow. Um, you can't just go whip it out there on the Internet. I think there should be like a spot. You want some spoilers? This is where you put them, this is where you see them, and then zip back. Zip back. Right? That's all I think. That's all I think. Um, uh, that's all I got for that. Is that good? You're welcome. Hi, Nathan. Hi. Uh, could you please say hello to Dave who couldn't be here? Hello to Dave who couldn't be here. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was actually just watching an episode of Lost yesterday uh, yes. after Nerd HQ. Yes. And you were uh, I was Angeline. In, I was in it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you. Um, I was wondering if there's anyone that you would like to see uh, do a cameo on your show that hasn't done one, or is there a show that you would like to do a cameo on that you're dying to do? Lost uh, taught me a very v harsh lesson. Um, huge fan of the show, and uh, when you go do it, uh, spoilers, spoilers, everything. Oh, he's dead? I love that guy. Uh, spoilers, it, it'll kind of blow it apart for you. So when it comes to shows I actually really like, 
Um, I want to uh, maintain the illusion. Those, those are the few things that take me on a, on, on a journey. They truly entertain me because I'm distracted and I'm transported. I don't want to go and start pulling the thread lest the sweater unravel. People I want to have on Castle. Yeah, Quinto would be really good. I'm sorry, you didn't make the... Oh, here you are. Towards the bottom. Uh, I got Gina Torres on here. She can be scratched off. I got the whole cast of, of, of uh, Firefly, of course, on here. Uh, Dylan Baker, I have. We did Drive Together, and I just think that guy's so talented. Uh, I got uh, Jacqueline Smith. I've always wanted to meet her. Uh, a friend of mine, Mercedes Monroe, James Denton, whom I've worked with a couple times, I really like him. Todd Watkins, I had on One Like to Live. <laughs> I have Monet Mazer here because she's rarely on the show. She plays my ex-wife, the blonde publisher ex-wife. She's so lovely. I just, I just love it when she's around. Uh, Kyle McLaughlin, a favorite of mine, super cool. Catherine O'Hara. <laughs> SCTV, I grew up watching SCTV. That lady uh, uh, means a lot to me, and I got to meet her, and she's so charming and cool. William Catt, who was the greatest American hero. And Robert Culp. I got, to, I got to meet Robert Culp. He was the FBI agent. Did anybody remember watching? Okay, okay. I'm going to do, do my Robert Culp, okay? Gosh, jeez, kid, you're killing me. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's kind of how he talks, too. It's like, God, it's so hot out here. It's going to kill us. Anyway, he passed away. He's just a wonderful man. Uh, Lindsay uh, Fonseca, she played my daughter on uh, Desperate Housewives, and she was in uh, all the uh, kick-ass movies. She's a lovely lady. Uh, Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> I got him on there. Yeah. Alexis Denisoff, he's on here. Yeah. Every, yeah. You know what? It's the cast of Angel. <laughs> cast of Buffy. Seth, Seth Green is on here. There's a lot of names on that list. Is that good? Is that fair? Yes. I think, I think, I think we're done. We are actually done. We're actually done. I know. But guys, oh my God, look what you guys did over there. You did it. You did it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give some love to Nathan Fillion. Keep it going for Nathan. Sorry. All right, you guys. <laughs>